What's going on guys? So how I fast from social media and the internet is I will log myself out of all my social media platforms so that way I don't get any notifications or maybe there's some unnecessary messaging that I don't want to occur on my fast. So, uh, by the way, completed the challenge. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to Elisha Long. Uh, thank you for doing the challenge, man. It was a good time. Uh, every time I do this, I, I'm always able to get more stuff done during the week. So, I also wanted to say thank you. Uh, you are an inspiration to me. And um, I owe a lot of what I do for my channel um, because, of, because of you. So, thank you. So, that's what I do. I log out of all my social media platforms. Uh, I might keep a few open, so we're talking like, you wanna log out of Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Google, I mean, YouTube, there's all those other ones that you wanna just log out of. Uh, but I keep a few open for messaging purposes, so I'll keep Messenger open, and it's separate from Facebook, so that works. Or I'll keep my Snapchat open, because I don't check it as much. So that's what I did this week, you guys. I logged out completely, and I didn't log back in except for maybe a minor upload that I did for the channel. So if you guys that follow me in some groups, you guys saw that one. So that's the only thing that I did. Uh, went about five days total. I didn't even check all my, I didn't even check my notifications till Friday, Friday night after I got off of work. So I flipped through my notifications and uh, checked everything. Shut off the phone before I went to bed, you know, a couple hours before I went to bed and then I slept like a baby. Even slept in today, so it was kind of weird. But anyway, uh, that is my strategy for how I fast from social media or the internet. Uh, and that's what I would encourage you guys to do if you guys have a real problem with looking at your phone constantly all the time. And get your mind to focus on other things too, like focus on your projects, focus on reading a couple more chapters out of that book that you've been working on, or working on what you're trying to work on, work on your side business, whatever you're doing. For me, what I get, for me, what I get from my results uh, from fasting social media and the internet is uh, I'm more focused, I'm more creative, I'm able to put more time into my projects, side gigs, whatever. I'm also able to put more focus into work because that way I'm not thinking about what Bob said on my post for his comment or I'm scrolling through Instagram looking at all these pictures because I want to like some hotties on there or... I'm getting notifications from my Instagram feed on what people liked on my feed. So there's that. That's what I've noticed. And that's what it does for me during the week. You know, it just, it keeps me focused. It keeps me honed in. So yeah, uh, that's what I would recommend for you guys. That's what I do. I just log out of all my social media platforms or the ones of my choosing, the ones that I know that I'm going to be distracted the most by. And I only keep a few options open. So I had my texting and calling and my emails open and things like that. One of the things I've also noticed though too, uh, every time I do a fast for about a week is that when I'm completely logged out of those certain social media platforms, my other ones that I keep open like YouTube and Google just really amp up and they keep giving me all these notifications. And I just think it's crazy because it, it's almost like the phone is trying to mind fuck you and just to keep you consumed in the virtual reality. And so I really see the phone as a good thing and a bad thing. I think that we have to use the phone as a tool. That way we don't get addicted to it because these screens are very addictive. The lighting and everything versus just the internet in general. These phones can be very addictive. And so what we want to do is we want to be able to use this phone as a tool for our, for our tool belt of life. And to use it in life for the right reasons and in the right ways. Other than that, guys, that's all I got. I hope you guys have a great weekend.